Innovative of Learning with Dr. Bhushan Bhagat. I, Sai Mode, will be presenting to you the dental implications of a patient with bronchial asthma. Being a dentist, we come across a number of patients, some of them being medically fit, while some of them being medically compromised with diseases like hypertension, diabetes, etc. So today, we have a patient of bronchial asthma in our clinics. Let us have a look at what exactly will we be doing with him. So to begin with, what exactly is asthma? Asthma is an inflammatory disease of the airway that leads to bronchospasm and causes overproduction of the thick mucus in the airway. In the picture alongside, you can see the first image shows the normal airway of a patient. Second is the airway of a patient who is asthmatic and is on medication. And the third is the airway of a patient who has just received an asthmatic attack. Moving on to the signs and symptoms, these involve coughing, use of inhaler, breathing difficulty, feeling tired even on the shortest of exercise, chest pain, wheezing, shortness of breath, and sleeping problems. Next, we come to the dental management of a patient who tells us that he is an asthmatic. In such patients, we first record the history, which includes type of asthma. It can either be allergic, non-allergic, exercise-induced, medication-induced, nocturnal, occupational, or cuff variant. Next, we will be asking about the severity and frequency of attacks, and also the time of attack. You also have to ask the patient if he is allergic to any of the drugs. And lastly, if any hospitalization to him was done in the recent past. Next, we come to the dental management of a patient who does not tell you that he is asthmatic, or maybe he himself is unaware that he is an asthmatic. In such patients, we have to look up for the oral manifestations. These include nasal symptoms like allergic rhinitis, lingual erosion of teeth due to frequent gastroesophageal reflux, increased risk of gingivitis and caries, and rarely candidiasis. Another very important feature of such patients is mouth breathing. This leads to xerostomia, greater overjet, high palatal vault, and crossbite. Clinically, these patients will have a crooked nose, receding chin, narrow face, and a bad posture. Now, these features may not be prominent in all of them, but yes, they will be present in them. Moving ahead to the treatment. Asthmatic patients are given late morning appointments. Drugs like aspirin, barbiturates, narcotics, NACIDs are avoided as they induce asthma. Appointment for patients with unstable asthma should be postponed. Patients visiting dental clinic should always carry their inhalers with them. Propylactic inhalation before the procedure is recommended. Nitrous oxide is given to reduce the stress if required. Benzodiazepines are given as oral sedatives if required. Coming to the selection of anesthesia. Plain anesthesia is recommended in patients with asthma. Adrenaline and lignocaine combination is contraindicated as the lignocaine in it contains sodium metabisulfide, which is a reducing agent and acts as a bronchoconstrictor, hence inducing an attack of asthma. Coming to the emergency. Here comes a sport person playing a sport. Now what has he got to do with asthma? Well, he has got nothing to do with asthma. All you have to take from here is the word sport as it will be telling us what exactly do we do during an emergency. Let us see how. S is to stop the treatment. P is for positioning the patient. O is for oxygen. R is for reassurance of the patient. And T is to take vitals. So this is how SPOT tells us what do you do during an emergency. Coming to the drugs that are to be kept in hand while performing any procedure on an asthmatic patient. First is oxygen. Aim for about 94 to 98% of oxygen saturation. 
This is measured by a device called oximeter, which is shown in the picture to your right. The next drug is ipratropium bromide. 500 mg every four to six hours is nebulized if the attack is severe. Next comes salbutamol. 5 mg is nebulized with oxygen as soon as possible or two puffs of salbutamol are given stat. Another set of drugs that need to be kept in hand are the corticosteroids. These include prednisolone 40 mg oral and hydrocortisone 100 mg oral or intravenous if the patient is unable to swallow. Next is the antibiotics. These are given if any in evidence of infection is recorded. Next is propranolol. It is recommended before the treatment for asthmatic patients with hypertension. Lastly, the asthmatic attack on dental chair. Status asthmaticus. This is nothing but an exacerbation of the asthmatic attack. In such cases, make the patient comfortable and identify the trigger. Then, either salbutamol nebulization is done or the drug of choice, that is intravenous magnesium sulfate or theophylline, is given. Now, after doing this, if the attack is in control, reappoint the patient and do the further procedures. And if the attack is not in control, consult a respiratory specialist. So this was all about asthma. The reference to this topic was taken from the book Peterson Fonesca by Malik Bajaj. Hope you all enjoyed the learning session. Thank you.